welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandy if you're new to my channel and for today's video I want to show you how I sweat proofed and waterproofed my makeup for those hot summer days. One day I really wanted to put my makeup to the test so I did this full face of makeup and I went swimming. I dunked my head in the water and surprisingly my makeup was still intact. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I did to summer proof my makeup and because I did the ultimate summer test I think these tips and tricks will help at least preserve your makeup from sweat. So if you want to learn how I did it, then just keep on watching. To start off, never forget to wear your sunscreen. Sunscreen is especially important if you're going to be out in the sun all day. My favorite one that I'm using right now is this one from Skin Food. It is their Aloe Watery Sun Waterproof Sunscreen. It has SPF 50 plus along with PA++++. So I'm just going to apply this all over the face. I haven't been getting enough sleep these past couple of days, so my skin is looking extra tired. Next, I'm going to move to primer, which is extremely important for foundation. I'm using this one from Arborean. It's their Glow Creme, and I've been loving this so much lately. It's all I've been using. I'm also just going to put this all over my face. Eyeshadow primer is also really important to make sure eye makeup stays for the entire day through whatever activity you're doing. So I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance and just applying that all over the lids. Now moving on to foundation, that day I actually used my VT Cosmetics Berry Collagen Pact. It really surprised me how well it stayed after swimming and I think it has a lot to do with setting your foundation, which I'll get into after. So I'm just applying a nice even layer all over the face. You can also bring it down your neck to make sure it blends in a little bit better. Because my skin needs a little bit extra help today, I'm also going to be using concealer. I'm using Apu's Moist Creamy Concealer. Just applying it on the back of my hand and then using my finger to apply it onto the spots that really need it. Then for the under eye area, I'm just going to use the doe foot applicator and apply right over it. To blend it out, I'm just going to use my VT Cosmetics Cushion. It works really well for this too. I'm just going in patting motions and not swiping or rubbing motions. I find that this gives you the best coverage. Now we're moving on to setting our base, which is really important if you want it to last all day throughout sweat, water, sun, whatever it may be. So to set my base, I'm going to use MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray and just spray a generous amount all over my face. Just fan it out a little bit to help it dry. Once that's completely dry, I like to use my Laura Mercier setting powder with a fluffy brush and just lightly bake my entire face. I don't let the powder sit for too long because my skin can get a little bit dry, but I'll do a little bit more than I usually do. So I'll pour a little bit out onto the container, take the brush, tap off any excess, and just dab it like this. I like to dab and not so much swipe so it doesn't move my foundation around too much. If your foundation tends to move a little bit more, then you can do a full-on bake, but this is what works for me. Now that the base is done, we can move on to brows. This is a step that I tend to glaze over really quickly, but I think it's really important for sweat-proof and waterproof makeup, and that's to use a pomade or a gel product to apply your brows. I find that with pencil and powders, the brows tend to move a lot more, so pomade is definitely what I recommend if you want it to stay on throughout the entire day. For eyeshadow on that day, I actually redid my sensual chocolate makeup look, which I will link below and also in the info card. Because I already did a majority of the work by priming the eyelids, I think any eyeshadow will work as long as it's of pretty decent quality. So I'm just going to quickly apply eyeshadow and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and I just finished applying 
the eyeshadow from my essential chocolate makeup look there are a few things that i did differently though i'm not putting any eyeshadow in the lower lash line or the water line if you really want to go swimming with full glam makeup on don't add anything on your lower lash line to prevent further smudging moving on to eyeliner i'm going to use this one from dolly wink i love using this one because the lasting power on this is amazing so with my dolly wink liner i'm just going to draw a quick winged line i highly recommend you do not use pencil to line your eyes because those just tend to smudge and move around a lot easier for your eyelashes you'll want to find a mascara that is truly waterproof i don't use mascara very often anymore but when i used to use mascara i found that this one was actually my favorite this is the maybelline falsies mascara and this is the waterproof version this would never smudge on my eyes lately i actually just prefer to wear lashes i feel that they're much more comfortable than mascara surprisingly and they're a lot easier to take off at the end of the night so for lashes i'm going to use my ardell wispies for lash glue i love using the house of lashes one this one has the strongest holding power i've ever seen and it's my favorite I really like the applicator of this glue. It's a little brush that you can use to apply onto the lash strip. I think the Duo glue, the one that you can get at Target or Walgreens, has changed their packaging to look like this now too. It makes it a lot easier to apply your lash glue. I will say that when I went swimming and did my waterproof makeup test, the lashes stayed on and they were intact, but they did get a little bit scraggly. They still looked wispy and full, but it's definitely not going to look the same as how it came out of the box. Just wanted to let you guys know, in case you do go swimming, you probably won't be able to reuse your lashes after that. Moving on to contour, I'm going to contour my nose first using Avon's True Color Contour Stick. I like to draw lines on the sides of my nose and also at the tip. Sometimes I'll also do uh, the sides of my nostrils. And then with a contour brush, this one's from Lexi, I just like to brush it upwards and also down the nose bridge. I like to just draw lines in the center of my nose bridge because I find that it looks more natural when you blend it out with the brush. To contour the rest of my face, I'm going to use Tarte's Park Avenue Princess, their matte bronzer. I don't like using the Avon contour stick for the rest of my face because I find that it's actually pretty sticky and hard to move around, and it also starts to wipe off some of my foundation. For my cheeks, I'm opting for a matte blush instead of a shimmery one. I find that they have a longer lasting power. I'm using this one from Tarte in the color Party. So just gonna put a little bit of this over the nose. Then for highlighter, of course I'm using something with shimmer. I'm using my favorite Burberry highlighter in rose gold. For sweat proof, waterproof lip color, I recommend something matte that will have the longest staying power. We all know how strong matte liquid lipsticks can be. But I'm actually going to be using something different. I'm using Fenty Beauty's Stana Lip Paint in Uncensored. When I tested this lip color in the pool, I was so incredibly surprised with how well it stayed. It was amazing. And on top of that, it's not uncomfortable and it's not drying like your usual matte liquid lipsticks. And this color is so bright and bold, it really packs a punch for your summer days. This is one of the most comfortable matte lip colors I've ever worn. Now to completely seal the look, I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is really going to help lock everything in. Just spray a generous amount all over your face. And that's it. That is how I sweat proofed and waterproofed my makeup for a pool day. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and learned some tips and tricks on how to sweat proof your makeup for the hot summer days to come. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more makeup tutorials and fashion videos. And I will see you next time. Bye!